Welcome back, everybody. It's time for more. I, Tessa, I swear to God, I, I did not like, you know, put your name on the whiteboard I and feel then write like, like right now. only, uh, only Cthulhu, only horror, only Cthulhu horror. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just been the way that things have worked out. So it's fine. I'm actually perfectly okay with this typecasting that's going on. All right. Well, we're playing Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. I don't know if. Mother is Cthulhu mother? Is it a I don't know. squid mommy or mother, mother brain? Fish, I don't fish know. mommy or just, uh, yeah, so I have no idea what this game is, but uh, it came out this week, which is oh. as much as I can say. We get say. to choose our character. Oh, geez. Okay. Your investigator. Welcome to the Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. Who will your investigator be for this new adventure? So we've got old dude with mutton chops. Doctorates in history and archaeology, as well as experience in ancient languages. Harvey Walters. One of the most friendly and helpful colleagues at Miskatonic University. Uh, died, oh, whoa, it's whoa. My turn. Oh, geez, Jenny. Is it <laughs> is it Friny Fisher? Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. She's got a gun and everything. Uh, she's the elder daughter of my friends, the Barnes. Uh -huh. Despite her natural intelligence and all advantages her upbringing provides, she never seems to focus on a single pursuit. I guess we could see. Oh, her trait is I do what I want. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, her traumas are daydreaming, inaccurate, and. Algophobia? I don't know what that is. I don't know what algophobia is either. Is that? I, I have no idea. That's my We got uh, Jim Culver, the musician. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he's got self mutilation. What does this button do? Oh, Legend Sanity Points Initiative. Okay. I'm ready to investigate. Initiative. What do we? Kate Winthrop, the scientist. I'm Safina Rousseau, the painter. All mm -hmm. right. It's my time in the spotlight. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, oh, he's an actor. Oofa oh. doofa. Okay. I heed the Lord's call. And hey. the cook. So should we I should we go with the vamp? Boys. Is that what we're... Franny Fisher, Franny Fisher. I like the way her hat is Please. really big on one side mm -hmm. and like not on the other side. I, I like the I do what I want lady. Hell it's yeah. like it's like she's wearing like the 1920s version of a baseball cap slanted to one <laughs> side. Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's Jenny Barnes. Oh, the, the, yes. The dilettante. The dilettante. Yes. Um, I do what I want. If an investigator suffers trauma when they've already have three traumas, one of those traumas will be aggravated. Okay. I love it when games try to tell you stuff and I've oh 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 oh, oh here's okay. mother. Embrace me, mother. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a name. Let's <sighs> just close that place. I don't know. I mean, we've got some decent. You know, students coming out of there. Yeah. Sure. To observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. Oh, the color out of space comet? Maybe. Yeah. The water got real weird. I always thought, I, I thought after I watched that movie of the Nicolas Cage version, mm -hmm. that it should have been black and white, right? Because then when they're like, ah, oh, that color that you can't talk about, then you'd be like, you can just imagine instead of it's like, it's, it's pink. It's, it's pink. It's, it's a fuchsia. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's purpley pink. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, to the. Oh. More friend of my parents than of mine. Oh boy. Okay. So this is a game that doesn't know how to master audio. I why she's inviting me to her home. Nope. They do not. That's it's a... all over the place. Welcome to my mansion, what? my friend. Telepathy. Oh my God. What does it mean? Is in my brain? I'd better ring the bell. <laughs> okay. One of the. Uh, I saw a review on Steam of this that talked. It was like. Voice acting. Mm. Yeah. Moving controls. Yeah, her hat is kind of weird. Uh, okay. Ding dong. Mother must have the day off. Oh, more. Mm, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. I... What? So I'm going to do what? Uh, coming from that level with you. I watched the trailer for this. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. All right. We single girls must look out for each other. <laughs> the door's locked. I'd better find another way in. Why doesn't Wilhelmina come down and fucking answer her front door? Because <laughs> reasons. She's a is she a ghost? Is she a yeah. painting? Is she a Dorian Gray? Yeah. That's something. Okay. She's, yeah. Find another way in. All right. I do kind of like the um, magnifying glass display of options. Okay. I do like the fact that it's a, uh, that, like, you have direct control over the character. Hmm. 
Uh, the front door. That's not the front door. That's the steps. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we can't oh, walk can up I? there, apparently. Look over there. Some boxes. Okay. Maybe we can climb up these boxes. Yeah. A box beneath the first floor window seems to invite you to take that way inside, but it looks to be shut tight. Oh. It's uh, no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. Yeah. I need to smash the glass to get inside. All right, well, time to get smash smashing. <laughs> Hope you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. Next time you come over to my house, I'm just gonna leave the door well, locked, and then you can just smash my front window. window to get inside. Mm, that's what I thought about doing, anyways. Yeah, uh, just full full Kool Aid man. Oh yeah, uh, race the <laughs> Here to record. Some interactions with objects may ask you to choose mm -hmm. the best action. These are called complex interactions. Wilbur stands abandoned on the lawn. Perhaps you can find something to break through the window. Quick look or look through. Look through, yeah. Look or or look. Which one is select? Blue? I found some wire, wire cutters. cutters. That's cool. Wait, did it say I could smash the window with wire cutters? I don't know. Maybe? Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> okay. Smashed my window. I hope you intend to have it replaced. Out of my brain, ghost woman. Not my preferred method of making an entrance, but it does have a certain je ne sais quoi. Now, where yeah, this has a lot less genitalia than the last Cthulhu game we played. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like that one, it was just immediate. Immediately, okay, we were delivering weird lamprey babies. Find Professor Tillinghast. Okay. Uh, or you can just sit here and play this here piano. Yeah. A beautiful piano. You don't recall the professor mentioning that she could play. Judging from the dust on the instrument, you doubt it sees much use. Okay, let's go find... Wait, open this box. Is that a painting of the comet? Ooh, maybe. Large painting of the comet hurling through the night sky. It's nice. Press his interest in ba 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 Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Your reading skills are off the charts, yeah. Jeff. Oh. That was exactly what that said. <laughs> ah. Uh-oh. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. Why not? She wouldn't come down to open the door for you. I know. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, mm -hmm. especially when expecting visitors. I'd better find her. All well, right. She's obviously around-ish. Let's go up the stairs. No. Nope. Nope. She can't use stairs. Not in those heels. Those okay. are those aren't stair walking shoes. <laughs> Uh, okay. Is she in this room? Seems this door, door is locked. Okay, it's a good thing that's not where you want to go. Well, where do I want to go, game? Like, give me a... Come on, give me give me something here. Uh, I guess you could look at the vase on the ground some more. Oh. Okay, let's see. LT is accelerate. All right, complex interaction. If your investigators have the knowledge required, they will offer advice in the best course of action. Just not the case. They'll tell you nothing. Uh, okay, okay. No advice. Manipulate or put together. It's a fra oh, shards of a fragile object now scattered lie on the ground. Perhaps it's a clue. Put it together. Put it together. Closer inspection of the fractured object reveals it was a vase. Yeah, no shit. Based on position, you think it fell from a small table nearby. Since the fragments are free of dust, you deduce it broke recently. All right. Ah. Wait, what? That scream came from upstairs. What the hell? Oh, now we can go up the stairs. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. I don't know. I don't what understand the relationship this? between these two. Was that you? Of course it was. Hurry. That no sounds answer. like my voice. Someone else in the house. Even though I'm having some sort of out of body experience. I found a weapon. Oh. Why? Well, there's a knife right there. Uh, what? Oh. Losing sanity. <laughs> Man, if that was the way it worked in the certain real world. Ev certain events will force a sanity check. Yeah, I feel that a lot lately this past year. Uh, a lot of people need a sanity check. Look through. I got a knife. Ooh, a knife. All right. Um, Durability. Get, yeah. Switch to inventory. Can I? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then I put it in my inventory. Yep, now you have it. Got and a knife. punch. So is there combat That's in this game? Might come in handy. If the occasion calls for defending myself yes, quietly. Yes, eventually. Okay. What on earth are you doing with my letter opener? I'm going to stab somebody with it, Grandma. I'm going to forcibly open some letters with it. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to pay possibly my bills. Stab a dude. Uh, okay. Is that the Tower of Babylon they had painting no, no. back there? Look. No idea. I'm, uh. This game is bamboozling me. I don't know. 
I don't know what's this going on. Must have come from the other side of this door. I don't understand if, like, we can That's hear the lady, soul. but she can't hear the lady? I think, basically, old lady's already dead. She's a ghost. She's there, but our oh, protagonist locked. cannot hear ghost lady's voice. Okay. But then what are we? We're supposed to drop by the professor's house and I'm sure we're going to find her dead body or some shit. Okay. Oh, right. Well, video game, like, come on, work with me here. It's like, well, this isn't the right door. And it's like, well, right, but the other door's locked. Your reflection gazes back at you from this scrupulously clean bathroom mirror. Ooh, they must have got one of those drill brushes. <laughs> uh, you want to plug that drill brush every time you can. <laughs> it's like, man, I got my bathroom so clean. You know, it's the pandemic test and I not know, a lot happens in my I life, know. so... Uh, the little things. Through your investigations, you may draw the attention of the great old ones. Shit. It's called Mythos. The Mythos clock fills up each time an unsuitable action is chosen during a complex interaction. Okay, when the Mythos clock is full, the great old ones will intervene to slow you down. Be on your guard. So, basically, you messed up, and Eldritch forces are going to mess with you if that fills up. That's great. Dude, I want that to happen. Can I mess with it more? Oh, no. I needed the toilet Jeff. paper. <laughs> for something. <laughs> you have angered the eldritch gods. You stole their toilet paper, oh, Jeff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's all this going on? Children's toys. Mm -hmm. So carefully that you doubt a child ever touched them. I feel like that would damage my sanity. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 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 That's definitely a hum face. Hmm. Let me ponder. Oh. Boo. Oh, is it monsters? Yay! Something. Come on. Is it that old lady? I don't oh, know. It's oh, it's this guy. Oh. He's also come to see the professor. I hey, doll. Okay, what's Who's your... There? What's your... <laughs> what's I your ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? Could... Okay. It's what book club. With me? I don't know, Agatha. Just My name is Jenny Barnes. Professor Tillingist is a friend of the family. Okay. When I heard her scream, I came up to make sure she was all right. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. Surely you don't suspect Hinky. That's just a fun mistake. word to use. She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, to find out what she knows. What you been getting into, Agatha? Anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. Or you could bust it down. I mean, yeah, you're a big, strong man. Just hit it with your shoulder, like in the I movies. Prepared for so many guests today. Does she have like that? Um, what's that thing from from Beyond? Well, the 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 jellyfish orator or whatever. The big machine that makes you horny and like shows you outer space people or whatever. Wait, what? No. What? I don't, I don't think so. No. Do you don't think she's got that in there? Oh. Uh. Okay. Rolling. Wait, he's in my. Party. Party? Is this like an RPG? What the fuck? Yeah, I guess you can use their different uh, so wait, abilities, I guess. Knowledge, physical, I guess, move things around. Mm -hmm. Okay, we found a key. Ah, well done. There's a key on this mobile. The one with the goats? Has no children. If that's true, why would she need a nursery? Fish babies, man. Fish babies. Creepy. My parents always said that the professor's one regret was that she never had children. She focused all her energy on her work. Has she been kidnapping babies? Oh, I don't know. I can't say it isn't true. I wish people were less prone to... There's still a lot going on in here. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. I want to see... Is there a monster in there? Right. I want to see a... What are the stats we got? We got 25 and 7. Is 7 is like the sanity. sanity. Okay. And uh, red is like your health. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I think so. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because it's a little heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> the brain. Okay, cool. Wait, what did that say? Uh, Jenny cannot be inflicted with the restrained condition. Oh, because she does what she wants. Because so. she does what the fuck she wants. <laughs> Roland has a more chance. Uh, okay, better critical chance. It's okay. In combat. All uh, right. Enemy encounters. Oh. oh, I probably shouldn't have skipped over that. Uh -oh. uh, the key fits, and you unlock the door and continue walking. In ah! Ah! Oh! A Nosferatu. Uh, it looks like some what shady monk. Shoulder. Can I, expect to I have a knife and he has a gun. I think we could take this monk. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Listen, pal. 
You've got some explaining to do. We really just fall right into that good cop, bad cop. Come then. I have just the explanation you deserve. Is that the same voice actor? I don't know. It sounds like the same guy. Cultist. Okay, uh, uh, so... Oh, uh, we lost uh, more sanity. She did. She's like, what the crap? Every character acts uh, one after the other without time constraints. The order of the attack is based on the initiative role. I did not realize that this was uh, like a tactical combat game. Uh, mm. Each character has five action points. Each action specific action point costs. Once validated, an action cannot be undone except for movement. Okay. Three types of actions, melee, ranged, and spell book. Cool. Each investigator has a different aptitude with various weapon types, aptitude will attack, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So basically, she has her fists and a knife right now. I, I doubt they have spells yet. Uh, so we're moving. He, so attacking is three points. Uh-huh. What is he also got? What is this thing over here? Overwatch. Oh, okay. So you can do Overwatch. All right. Well, then shoot that guy. Yeah. Just sh shoot him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. murder that dude. <laughs> um, and then go into Overwatch in case he tries to move. Yep. I know what Overwatch is. And let's see. I wonder if there's friendly fire. Let's see. I don't know. Stab him. Stabatize him. Got the. Okay. So we're going to have to move before we can do that. And then. Yep. He's just going to stand there and let you stab him. Yep. Ooh, take that. <laughs> oh, dang, girl. Jenny. <laughs> What's going on? Good job murdering that guy. <laughs> you better have a look inside. Never mind this body. Mm hmm. Wait. Can we loot him? I don't know. It's not know. even there. Ah, I got some bandages. bandages. Okay. Oh, that's what you got from the bathroom. It wasn't toilet paper. I was just like, oh, you stole their TP. Yep. Bastard. Uh, okay, well, you can reload your weapons after each fight. You can reload from your inventory. Oh, don't, ah, uh, come on, man. Like, don't, don't, don't do that. That sucks. I hate that. Having to reload? <laughs> Having to, like, m manually pick a, wait, say, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Lame. I guess he has, like, a very specific number of bullets, so you could choose to, like, leave the gun half empty if you wanted to distribute the bullets differently. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Ah! Yes. Freaking uh -oh. cold. Ah! Ah! Bunch of goths in here. Mm-hmm. Places are you. It would appear we're late to the party. Oh, man. Wait. Wait, is she in Hydra? What That's happened? Me. Hail Hydra. That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. We need to stop them. Yep. Let's do it. Let's murder these people in cold blood. I mean, it's self-defense at this point, yeah? yeah? They just murdered that old lady, and th they'll murder you. I mean, they're coming right for us. <laughs> I like the way that so far, um, everybody in this has basically just like, we've just run across them and then shanked the living bejesus out of them. Yeah, it's uh, not some sort of like situation where he's like, you're under arrest, I'm with the FBI, yep. Bureau. It's just like, nope. Just Backstab! Like right in your back! Alright, try moving. See what happens. Ha ha! Overwatch! Take that. Dang. And she's gonna get... Yeah. Ooh. Get punched in the face. Owie. After all the characters have had their turn to attack, the Mythos Clock fills up. Oh, okay. So you want to try to finish quickly. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Can before, I just like... Before they summon something. I, I don't need... Uh, can we like... What? Okay, can I only like waste bullets? Can I just like punch this guy to death? I don't see why not. Punch him. Okay, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, oh wow. Punching doesn't do too much. That's all right. Just to get another chance to stab him. Yeah. Stab, yeah. stab Wow. Dang, Jenny. He got like a like a flanking bonus or something. Who were those cloaked figures? This wasn't just a burglary. <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh. Bad. Must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. Sure. Let's see. Pat down or look. Pat down. Pat down. Nope. Dang look. It. Deep weeping wound on her abdomen appears to be the cause of death. Judging by the wetness, it appears she was killed recently. Feel stability of your mind shatter. Sanity check. Oh. God. Can I get back sanity? Poor Professor Tillingist. 
Such a terrible death. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. Uh huh. Wound on her stomach. It looks like she was knifed. <laughs> then he eyes Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Wasn't you, was it? You got pretty good with that letter opener. Uh, let's see. Logical. Was logical mean manipulate or put together? Mm, put together, I guess. Put together. Reassembling most of the shattered container, you see a flask. It probably came from a laboratory. It's Miskatonic University Science Lab. Yep. Okay. It's so hard to find good help these days. Who left such a mess? Yeah, a broken jaw, a flask. We make out a few <laughs> letters. Keep, why don't they just show us this Mr. part? Uni lab. I was watching this guy on YouTube that does like That's horror hard. movie stuff. Mm hmm. And uh, he was reviewing Science like the they made like a, a really uh, low budget from beyond sequel recently. OK. And he had this great idea about just like make the make uh, the. Oh, really? Shit. I would have thought it was. OK. Uh, make like the Lovecraft verse into like a, um, a Riverdale style like teen drama. Oh, my God. Where they all go to Miskatonic University oh, and it's like shit. Herbert West. And then there's got like. You know, all the different characters from all the different love crap. But then they're all also, like, making out and hooking up and <laughs> doing their CW stuff. And I'm just oh, like, man. yep. It is, but how would you know? That channel is Scaredy Cats, by the way, for anybody There's who'd no like to know. useful information here. But perhaps Professor Tillingist kept notes on this material in another location. <sighs> okay. Like sure. the science lab. All right. Like the misket. Lab. Lab. Uh, inconsiderate of the terrible crime the poets assure us should have stopped its function. Okay. Okay. So what do we you, do? Detective man, would you like to call this in or? Oh God, I'm losing sanity all over the place. Uh, Actually, she hasn't lost any more sanity. He's lost two sanity. Um. A large glyph. Okay. All tentacly paint job. Mm -hmm. Professor didn't draw that weird symbol herself, especially not in her own blood. Mm. My nice clean floor ruined. What? I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Okay. So it's well, a. That's what she's hung up on. Not, I'm dead. I'm a ghost. It's oh my floors. Yeah. So it's kind of like an adventure game, like kind of like a like a Grim Fandango, uh, Walking Dead, Monkey Island style adventure game mixed with like I don't know like an Arkham role playing game and then like a turn based combat game on top of that. Kinda it looks oh, that way. Okay, we're doing late title cards. Yeah. Asmodee Digital. Sock it to me. And you're turning the volume way the fuck up. It's yelling at me. To the point where I'm going to have to change this. I have to process the entire game audio into something that looks like regular. <sighs> Ooh, spooky. I feel like there's only been two good Cthulhu video games. Mm. Um, yeah, which ones? The, Call of, the old Call of Cthulhu one mm -hmm. that everybody likes that I didn't ever play long enough. Mm -hmm. And then Bloodborne, yeah. uh, which is technically like an Elder Gods crazy Cthulhu-ish game. Hmm. Uh, oh, do they like work together now or what's... Okay. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Hmm. Whatever the answer, you are sure to So this is like chapter Mr. 2. Topic. I wonder how different it would have been if we had a different investigator, if it would have been the same just with slightly different um you kind think, of commentary. You think they would have paired us with somebody different or we still would have ended up with this uh, guy from the bureau? It's a good question. I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Uh It's it's just so Weird though. Oh no! Wait, I wanted. Uh, I want Jenny first. Jenny's on point. There we go. But like, why do they work together now? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, are you are you locked up, game or? Hey, game. What you doing? Oh, oh, never mind. <sighs> so we got a knife, toilet paper, and a gun. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good inventory. Let's just. Uh, it's, it's, I like having Jane knife people. Sue me. 
Uh, <laughs> and then this uh, this this guy's he's uh, doing why, that. Why did it unequip our stuff? Uh, it's I don't. That seems kind of pointless. Let's put two toilet papers up there. Mm -hmm. There you go. There Just put go. it put it back the way it was. Oh wait. Uh, no. Launch scenario. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this one is. I don't know. I like it's had a very mixed reviews, and I wasn't able to find very much information on it in the normal yeah. places. Um, I think it might actually be based on like a board game or an RPG or something. Home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. Okay. Speaking of which, there's a actually uh, was a library here in Austin called the Anomaly Archives, uh -huh. which is an archive full of all sorts of books on like ghosts and UFOs and stuff. Cool. But I think they've lost their like actual physical location. They're like trying to figure out where to put everything. But anyways, check out the Anomaly Archives. Google it. Look them up. They're fun. They just have like a bookmobile. They just go around mm -hmm. like hang out in like a Taco Bell parking lot. No, they don't have a bookmobile, but they should get one. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see some heavenly bodies. Hey. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wrong game. Many. Over the years, but no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. Okay. Your house is not little, Agatha. You live in a freaking mansion. <laughs> also, you never fixed my window, you scofflaws. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's let's I quit talking about. It. Let's do the damn thing. <laughs> Jesus, you guys. Overlay is available in both exploration and combat. Okay, affecting your current group, mythos, traumas, and conditions. So, did we? Um, oh, okay. We got all of our health and stuff back, but the mythos. It's almost full. Is full almost up. full. I gotta see what happens when the mythos fills up. That, that something's gonna intervene with our investigation. Hell yeah. Looks like tentacles come out of the floor. Oh God! Some withers have side-by-side offices. I wonder whether they were friends or more than friends. If you know what I mean. Why would you assume? Wink, wink. Why would two people have offices right next to each other unless they were getting down all the time? Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have I don't know if I want to listen to her for an entire game. <laughs> yeah. We'd better ask Withers for the key. It's like I feel like they're just repeating themselves. A lot of like the her talking and then the character being like, "Yeah, let's do uh, that thing." Agatha, oh. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit. Oh wait, I oh, can't call Wilhelmina Agatha anymore because there's actually an Agatha now in this story. Oh, never mind. They're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other. Oh my God, shut up. Of <laughs> course, may call me Professor Tillingus. Uh, we can't, we won't call you anything because we can't interact with you because you're a ghost that Jenny and dude can't hear. Professor Withers, I presume. It's like, excuse me, I'm we having a conversation you here. About your late colleague, Professor. Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Okay. Harumph. Jinx. Harumph. Um, I'm the garden variety busybody, friend of the family. My name's Jenny. I can stabulate really good, and this is my buddy from the bureau. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. What? I don't know. We tried to, like open a door and we couldn't believe that we couldn't do it so now Cthulhu's coming <laughs> like that's what's happened here like I've seen things you people can imagine a broken vase <laughs> can't even describe it to you with words oh wait no I can't it was a broken vase it was a broken vase yeah Agatha for heaven's sake stop this nonsense no Professor Withers she's right we have seen Unusual things. Yeah. Everything's cake. <laughs> Sorry, what? But we've seen we murdered like three people yesterday. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. They're but Fred here, he's shot him. Just shot two guys. It's pretty cool. It's fine. They're in a cult. They're I stabbed pissed. one. It's no, it was fine. great. That box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. Wait, what? What's a jujaw? I thought that was gigaws. Yeah. You gigaws. 
What? That's I've always heard it pronounced gigaws. I've never even heard that word before. Yeah. Where are you going, you 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 confounded parapsychologist? Oh, I never. How oh. dare? <laughs> Here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed <sighs> further. Okay. Okay. Oh. Is she wearing an eye patch? She's got like a or science monocle? What the Agatha Crane made a reputation. Is she mad eye moody? Yeah, kinda. Wait. <laughs> Surprising us even more, she turns the studies to the outre fields of parapsychology Ooh. and the occult, but then I love the way that they have this broken up as S. Some um, <laughs> of the others might smile behind their hands. I find her stories of speculation, highly blah blah blah, balderdash. Great, cool. We got three people now. Do you know do you have the key to uh, Wilhelmina's office? Is that what we were trying to do? I think so. Uh, yep, still locked. Still locked. So what do they want us to do? Mm, find Search the observatory. Observatory. Hey, do you guys have anything terrifying that you can tell me to make my Cthulhu meter go up? Wait. <laughs> this isn't a door? Yeah, it's a bookcase. <laughs> what are you doing, video game? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the video game is, is, is making me very... I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Look at the map. Where's the thing? A billboard. Oh, my God. This map. Oh, so many non-Euclidean uh, angles. Uh, my brains. That? Trophies. Ooh, trophies. Oh, is this where the... Is this... A door. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little lost. Mm -hmm. This this one isn't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you get like way into it, but yeah, I don't know. Just the whole. Uh, I mean, you and I have played games before that are like a real talky, right? Like, I feel like that's sure. a lot of the games we played have been super talky, but like, I think just the way that the the way this is laid out, where she acts like she can talk to them, but she really can't. There's like no engagement between them yet. Like, yeah, they haven't talked to her ghost, and it's just like this sort of like unheard narrator. Yeah, kind of thing. It's just a it's an odd choice. Oh, what is this? An eldritch phrase that binds the target's limbs, slowing movement. Mm. This is like a weapon? Don't okay. Take that. You can Wait, what is this? Freeze your enemies. Stronger than 10 cups of coffee. This bromo caffeine will get you moving faster. Give okay. me bromo caffeine. I want it. Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. Uh -huh. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. Aren't you a scientist? Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> like, um, well, she's a para oh, psychologist. She's got paranormal. degrees in parapsychology and psychology. <laughs> um, okay. Paras and paranormal. Uh, oh, a fucking pipe. A pipe wrench? All right, so we're slowly working our way up all the weapons from Clue. Uh huh. It's going to be a rope, a candlestick. Uh, a locker. Force lock, brake lock, lock pick. Do I have a lock pick? Wait, let's do something wrong. Which one of these is wrong? I don't know, Jeff. Just lock pick. pick. Oh, God damn it. That was the right one. Shit. We found our box, though. Yay. Uh, Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging what's to... What's in the box? Tundus. What are these strange things? Sorry. It's one of those Gwyneth Paltrow candles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's in Professor Tillinger's room? That apparently explode for some reason. I don't... Wait, what? Yeah. There was a whole thing where the, one of those candles, like, blew up and set somebody's house on fire or something Jesus like that. Jesus Christo. Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Okay. I don't know if I like the idea of of just like I don't know. Do you, do you consider like the cosmic horror of H.P. Lovecraft to be like magic? Huh. I I mean I, I don't know. I've always felt it's in like kind of a different category than that. Like it's kind of a science versus uh, ast astrological horror almost. Um, I mean it's sci-fi, but. I don't know. Uh, I guess there's some elements to it that's like, well, there's a summoning, you know. They summon, like, the old ones. Wait, did I not? So, Where's I it? mean, there's a summoning, quote-unquote, spell. Yeah. I don't know. We could get into semantics about it, but... Strange men. Okay. I 
I think we're done here. <laughs> I don't. Um, we're done with the game or just this college? Oh, epinephrine. Sure, why not? You just why is that just laying there next to this student? I don't know. I mean, like, I guess I'm not. Uh, I I'm like I I can see where this game is going, but where it's going doesn't seem like it's all that interesting to me. Sure. Um. So I don't know. I got another game. That I think that we. Should check out. We should Crack check open. out. So yeah, Crack on. We'll try that. We'll try that tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, hey everybody, hit the like, subscribe button, or don't. I mean, you do whatever you want to. Uh, um, but you know, maybe consider going to patreoncom forward slash right Slack. Helps out. Kick us some bucks, and in return, you get bonus videos that nobody else gets to see. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yep. Comment. Uh, comment. With like, uh, comment, your favorite, subscribe. Uh, old style hat. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, and as always, Tessa, where can people find you when oh, you're not over here? Um, they can find me on the Instagrams under Tessa Morrison, all one word, and uh, one of us dot net. Uh, we just dropped a review for six minutes to midnight. Oh, yeah. What was that? Uh, it was a period piece about a girls' school right before the outbreak of World War II. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right. Yep. Go check that out. I. If you're watching this video, you already know where you want to check this out. So we'll see you later. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. This guy's beard is epic.